And the winner of the Shure MV7 microphone is... <laughs> oh my gosh, that's ironic. Welcome fellow content creators. My name is Murray and today we're going to look at how to use the new version of OBS Studio. There's a couple updates, but there's one in particular that is super cool and I'm really excited about. I've been waiting for this update for a long time and finally OBS has implemented it into version 27. Currently, as this video is being recorded, version 27 is not an official release. So you'd have to go ahead and download the beta or the testing version, which the link to that is down below. Just note that there could be bugs and issues. So if you wanna use OBS Studio in its full entirety with your official broadcasting software, make sure to use the official versions this is currently in beta. There could be some small minor bugs and issues. So keep that in mind. And you better believe it's gonna be a good one. But I downloaded version 27 because I'm very excited about what it has to offer. And I've just got to make a video on it and show you guys what it is gonna have. And if you wanna download it now, this is how you use it. So one thing in particular is stinger transitions. Currently on the channel, there's a lot of stingers that I have as a pack. I have free ones and premium ones you can download on the website. Link is down below if you wanna do that. But usually a stinger transition covers the whole screen and then the screen underneath that transition changes and then the transition kind of fades out or kind of towards the end, it reveals what the new scene is. Well, with this updated version, you can actually use a track mat in order to reveal your new scene without having to completely cover the screen so that it looks more advanced and more produced. It looks better and people are more immersed into your content. And ultimately, it's just cool. So what you have is the main transition, which all the colors and effects are happening. And then you have a track mat, which helps reveal that new scene. So the first video clip is of the actual transition happening. And the second clip is a mat that goes across screen following the transition at the same time so that it reveals what's underneath. Keep in mind that there's two things you gotta have with this. First, that track mat that follows that object across screen. And also those videos need to be the same length in order for this to work properly. Keep in mind that it might be a little more resource intensive, especially with the unofficial release of version 27. When that official release comes out, it might be better. It's, I'm not trying to say that it's bad at the moment. Now there's two approaches when applying this new transition to your Stinger transitions in OBS. The first one is you can actually use a separate file, which is the track mat that I'm talking about. The second option is you can use the track mat, but it's gonna be in the same video file. And now people might be asking, how do you even do that? Well, what you can do is have the main transition on the one side of the screen and the track mat on the other side of the screen. So the right side and you gotta have the correct file ratios in order for that to work. Now, if you use the second option by having the two file sizes in the same video, your aspect ratio needs to be 3840 by 1080. That way you can have essentially two 1080 next to each other. That way when OBS uses the left side as your main screen and the right side as your track mat, it works seamlessly. This also appears to be less resource intensive on OBS and your computer. So this might be an option for you if you don't wanna use the double file system. But the double file system works just fine. I haven't had any issues with it. So I've told you the technical things, but let me actually show you how to do this. Okay, so once you're in your OBS, uh, this is what we're gonna do. Keep in mind that this is version 27 which currently it's an unofficial release, but that's gonna change soon. So when we're setting up a transition like this, what we're gonna do is go to the settings button over here, or actually just click the drop down and go to add stinger and call it whatever you want. Then what we're gonna do is click browse. I'm gonna click the main transition with color and everything. This is without the white mat. So I'm gonna select that. I'm not gonna worry about my transition point because it's not going to matter at this point because it's going to have both of the scenes on screen at the same time. So I'm just going to use use a track mat. And then what we're going to do is click the drop arrow. And what we're going to select is separate file. Now, depending on your PC resources and how hard your computer is working, this could get out of sync uh, on some transitions. But if your PC catches up again, it's going to get back to normal. I've already tested that 
that's so far what I've experienced. So let's just do separate file, do browse, and then I have a mat here and let's go ahead and open that. And you can choose to invert the colors. So uh, let me, I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But let's preview this transition. Take a look here. So you can see that both screens are on at the same time and the swipe is actually like swiping the previous scene away. So if I do it again, you can see what that looks like. Now, if I invert the colors here, you can see that it does it completely backwards. And in some cases, you don't want that because of how the transition is built. So let's not do that. So let's do OK. And then I'm in my main scene here. I'm going to go back to my uh, other webcam here and it's going to fade because I have an uh, override transition. And um, fun little trick, I'll show you that next time. But when I go back to face, you can see it has both on screen. So let me let me show you it like this. All right, let's go back here. I click face. It has the scene and the previous, the, the current scene and the previous scene on at the same time. So as you can see, a super awesome addition to OBS Studio. And frankly, I'm super excited for the official release that's coming out very soon. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing, stick around for the future. I also do a lot of content for content creators, streamers, how to set up your dual PC stream setup. If you have any live streaming questions, feel free to join the Discord down below. If you want to download a premium transition pack and want to support the channel, help me take this full time. That would really be appreciated. Link is down below to the transition pack Stinger. It's for content creators and live streamers. Uh, you can use it for your video editing or live on stream through OBS or Streamlabs OBS. If the video helped or you found it interesting, please leave a like. That'd really be appreciated. It would be helpful. Uh, do me a favor by subscribing and leaving a comment down below for the new microphone giveaway. By doing that, you'll actually be entered into a giveaway to the Shure MV7 microphone, which is a fantastic microphone. You can use it through an XLR or you can use it through a USB. So plenty of options there. You don't need an audio interface for it to work. If you want to enter into that giveaway, I'll be announcing the winner next video, which will be in about a week or so. But before I tell you how to enter into the next giveaway, right now we're going to choose the winner of the past video. So the video that went out just this last Monday, we're going to pick a winner from that video. And the winner of the Shure MV7 microphone is... Oh my gosh, that's ironic. <laughs> Obviously, I can't pick myself. Oh, I just get to save that money. Oh, okay. Well, see ya. <laughs> no, we're going to actually have to refresh that and choose another one. William Arnold. Hey, congratulations, dude. That's awesome. I will be sending you the microphone to your address. I'm going to contact you via Discord, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. If you want to know how to enter for the next microphone, take a look at this. Here's how you enter. First of all, watch the entire video, leave a like and subscribe, and also leave a comment down below letting me know how you found the channel or something else related to streaming. I'll be picking a random winner. And once the winner is announced, I will announce it in the Discord. So join the Discord so that I can send your microphone to you. That's how I get your details. Once you've done all that, stick around and uh, wait for the next video to come out and I'll let you know who wins. And if you're interested in other gear for your streaming, dual PC setups, capture cards, cameras, microphones, anything, I have a playlist in the top right in the cards. Feel free to check that out. More content for you. But I'll see you next time. But until then, make something great.